All right, guys, I'm at this call here. It's a condominium. Check these bad boys out. The humidifiers, Nortex, gas, steam. As you see, my steam line going up. It looks like they're going to the air handler. It's doing. Where it's going, guys. There's a leak. Be observant. I notice paint lifting there. New spots, even on the other one. Um, I'm gonna open these up. But I'll show you inside of them. These are combined. They're 200,000 almost BTUs each. There's four of them. What happens is, let me see if I get a light. So as you see, my burners, and there's like a heat exchanger inside so that's a fire tube so you got your burners going inside the tube the water is surrounding it and the heat exchanger goes from the top and it goes the, the uh, hot exhaust goes through these tubes out the bottom in these canisters and outside as you see this huge venting where that gasket there's a gasket in between the exhaust and the chamber the water chamber and that is probably loose or needs a new gasket and that's where it's leaking on the other side Let's see if we can see from underneath so right where you see those right in there we'll get some light here there's two of them for each burner they have exhaust obviously a heat exchanger so it's four and the far one seems to be leaking. Actually, it started leaking already. I'm draining it now. But see, you can see the water on the floor. And there's paint lifting right there. So I'm going to tighten up these two. And hopefully that solves the problem. I'll fill it up, check it before I leave. So when you're, when you're going to do this, obviously you got to drain the whole system down. I got to open up these huge exchangers. Uh, chambers the doors it's pretty neat how these nortec designed these doors on these units they could be a little tricky when you're putting these gaskets back on you wish you had three hands but it's not bad igniters so we got four here so it tells you you can manual drain and i'm draining through the system this is my manual drain and it's also draining through the system through this pump and i got two other units on this side so they have softener system just for these units they put them in because when you don't have softening of the water these units get a lot of calcium buildup um, so it's really good to have all right, I'll keep you guys posted. Bacon, bud. It's not too bad. It's still pretty clean, eh? So those are the bolts we got to tighten up. Wow. So that's where the exhaust and the chamber, the water meet, and there's a gasket in between. We just got to tighten them. I'm hoping. I know the other ones were loose, so... Put a socket on there or something. Look at all this buildup still. It's not too bad. That they're, they're pretty clean. Look at all this. Clean that up. All of them are leaking. You don't want to over tighten because there's no bolt on the other side. It's just a stud and nut.
roughly around these gaskets. The way this gasket is, is a gasket. And you got these brackets, this bracket, this bracket. And you got these brackets to prevent these brackets from spreading apart when you tighten them. And all this is doing is you're pushing the bolt and it's going against this uh, rim of the door and it holds it in place all the way around. Same thing, this has a, a lip on the other side, this has a lip on the other side, and we've tightened these up, it goes against the door. Crazy out in case. So you got your heating side, the chilled water loop, the chiller, go inside. Pretty neat. because the request is only 13 percent. We're good. This one's still filling up. So far, so no water. I don't see any water. All right, boys. Another job complete. Feeding this, make up air. 